Hello and welcome to the VR AR Association chapter, uh, MENA chapter. Today, uh, the track, the topic that we are covering and talking about with our experts is entertainment, or let me call it immersive entertainment. But before we get into that and before we get on, get our speakers on board and we, we share insights from the experts, one basic question that I would like to kind of pose and answer at the same time is what is virtual environment? Or these days there's a new term coined for it called metaverse. So imagine a social invention that overshadows the internet itself. Metaverse is a universe, or let me call it a digital universe, composed of a collective virtual space created by the culmination of the, or the combination of virtual reality, augmented reality, and the internet. In other words, instead of leveraging the power of AR, VR, and other marvels associated with this landscape separately or as standalone technologies, the metaverse combines them all, combines the capabilities of these incredible platforms to create a physically persistent virtual space. Virtual space which has access, virtual space which is for everybody, virtual space for content developers, virtual space for uh, enterprises like big name, whether it's an Apple or an HP. Uh, to, to contribute, basically. What is impressive is that this fascinating technology can very accurately emulate real-life scenarios, thus enabling people to connect with the world better. Basically, uh, you can say it's a, it's a universe within a universe. So we have the physical universe where we are, we as human beings are living, thriving, but in parallel we're creating a better universe, we're creating a universe where we we showcase our, uh, our capabilities in a different way, we connect with each other in a different way, we simulate the environment that we work for or work in. Now a, a, a topic which uh, kind of core to this metaverse or immersive uh, uh, universe or uh, XR landscape is immersive entertainment. Immersive entertainment or XR entertainment it has an has an untapped potential. Untapped potential. Uh, when I say entertainment, I'm not only I'm talking about gaming or or, or, or passive gaming or only uh, the aspect of entertaining the the audiences. It's more to do with uh, entertainment and education at the same time. The immersive entertainment, its affordability and availability in the near future is a portal to rapture. Right now, there are challenges, there are question marks that it's still expensive to establish an immersive park, for example, or to create content uh, for a particular game. But these things are gonna change when we have economies of scale, when we have more people, when we have a meta universe where people from different regions, from different countries can collaborate and, and, and create content and create platforms. Besides, besides having a, a, a key element of entertainment, immersive entertainment, it also has other benefits like the, for example, the concentration span of, of, of a gamer or a user is remarkably high. The problem solving uh, abilities you know, um, um, get enhanced because you can argument, you can, you can retry, you can take retakes in a virtual environment than in a physical environment, right? And also, the very, very basic uh, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the core benefit of uh, it entertaining us. Imagine, you know, after a hard day's work and one comes home and just logs on and like, puts on a headset and is, 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 is in a different part of the world, is cycling in Alps or is, uh, you know, participating with Superman in a movie. 
those kind of uh, attribute those kind of uh, things makes it more more attractive now coming to the coming to the middle east the region that we are we are we are talking about we have it's remarkable to to, to know and to talk about uae as region especially uh, if i if i consider mina as region then you we focus on uae has one of the highest percentages uh, when it comes to digitally literate literate uh, residents digital natives as called them whether it's youthful individuals from from college grads to undergrad to school kids all are keen on immersive active gaming they want to know about the industry that's behind it they want to know the code behind it they want to know the uh, how it's going to make how how, how it's impacting uh, their life their lifestyle although you know immersive entertainment has a uh, has a fair share of cascading addictive traits but its prospect of serving as an infotainment medium is is unparalleled nothing can match that it's mesmerizing actually you know how it can encourage learning and skill enhancement and skill enhancement and active reasoning to a large extent so with that note uh, i will end this opening note on our track and we will be taking on our experts uh, our speakers one by one we're going to they're going to share their insights on the immersive entertainment track thank you